It's all water over a troubled bridge for New Jersey's beleaguered governor, Chris Christie, who's had to apologize for huge traffic jams which gridlocked one of the world's busiest bridges. His public contrition over the scandal appears to have gone down well with voters, but his chances of becoming a Republican presidential contender are fading very fast. From New Jersey, Inigo Gilmo has this. The man they called the governor is hunkered down. It should be the day when he calmly lays out his priorities after his re-election triumph, but instead, he's fighting for his political life. Governor Christie, how are you? You're a bit under siege today. Until recently, Governor Christie was reveling in all the attention. Governor Christie, how does it feel to be under three investigations? Now, as he and his team are investigated over accusations of abuse of power, he's desperate to keep the media at arm's length. Now, the last week has certainly tested this administration. Mistakes were clearly made. Now, I'm the governor, and I'm ultimately responsible for all that happens on my watch, both good and bad. Now, without a doubt, we will cooperate with all appropriate inquiries to ensure that this breach of trust does not happen again. Speaking before a full house of Democrats and Republicans, this was a chastened, more humble Chris Christie, clearly hoping to again cast himself as a man everyone now, can work with. Many, many of our Intense interest in this address underlines just how significant a political figure Governor Christie has become. So far, Bridgegate has hardly dented his national poll ratings. But all that could change if accusations of abuse of political power continue to trail him along what is always a very rough road to the White House. Governor Christie, Governor Christie, what's your reaction to the investigation? Governor Christie, Governor Christie. It's the towering George Washington Bridge, the world's busiest, that now casts a shadow over Governor Christie's career. This vital transport link connects New Jersey to Manhattan, and today's free-flowing movement contrasts sharply with the snarl-ups of last September, when Christie's senior staff intentionally caused four days of traffic chaos. It's alleged this was an act of political retribution against a Democrat mayor whose town lies on one side of the bridge. Even though this plot reaches deep into his office, Christie has denied all knowledge, but his Democrat foes are gunning for him. I said to the governor when he came in for a state of the state address, let's get to the bottom of this. What did he reply? What happy New Year. That's all? Yes. <laughs> Would it be a happy New Year for him, do you think? Well, listen, he said he knows nothing about it. I have a healthy dose of skepticism that he knew nothing about it. I don't know how much he knew or when he knew it, but we need to find that out. He's either, as we say, a crook or a schnook. <laughs> Skepticism, too, from one of Christie's former allies. Richard Merck has known Christie for more than 20 years and has run for office with him. And he said to me at one point, you know, Rick, he said, my grandmother is Sicilian and or was Sicilian. And he said, we don't get mad, we get even. <laughs> and you think he knew or he even directed it? it? It seems improbable to me that six of his close high appointees would know and not one would have a discussion with him, not one would pick up the phone. That seems to me implausible. For this reason, he thinks he's unfit for America's highest office. Do you really want a guy with his finger on the red button who wants to get even with his enemies? Much now depends on how this plays out among voters. At this New Jersey diner, they tell it like it is. Definitely, if this will hurt his political presidential aspirations. Why, what's the key thing? Is it about trust? What is it about? Trust and truthfulness. I mean, I question whether or not he's telling the truth when he says he doesn't know anything about it. It seems that the Democrats are all against him, for sure. You know, they're not coming out and being bipartisan at all. So I think that it may have something to do with how strong he is as a potential candidate. Now we got three so Jersey, get your ass in line. But when the boss turns on the governor, then it's got to be trouble. You're killing the working man who's stuck in the governor Chris Christie for the New Jersey traffic jam. The side of Christie's hero and New Jersey demigod Bruce Springsteen mocking the governor as a figure of ridicule 
may in itself be a threat to his presidential ambitions. As investigators swing into action, the man who built his reputation on bridging America's yawning political divide faces the prospect of his presidential ambitions being crushed by the bridge that has become Bridgegate. Indigo Gilmore, Channel 4 News, New Jersey.